Here's your tea. Ah, thank you. What exactly are the ingredients in that swamp brew of yours? Mm -hmm. That's just a special herbal blend. You're so knowledgeable about herbs, aren't you? <laughs> well, my mum passed down some of her knowledge to me and my sisters, so it's sort of in my blood, you could say. A knowledge of herbs and good looks. That's lucky. <laughs> well, now you are just trying to seduce me. Is it working? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of your family, I was told to research the Pendle Hill witch trials yesterday in my lecture. And what do you know? One of the witches actually shares your own last name, Whittle. <clears throat> well, um, it's a pretty common last name. <laughs> what if you're related to a witch? Yeah, I can see you on a broomstick. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, but it wasn't just broomsticks and black cats that would get a woman sent to Gallows Hill. It was any activity done by midnight. It was showing too much interest in candles or charms. It was losing your temper when someone made you angry. It was by default of having a womb, you're assumed malicious intent. Mm. Well, all women are witches, according to your last point. <laughs> anyway, it was all just paranoid superstition and medieval fantasy. Maybe, but... I still think it's interesting, you know, the idea that these women could hold that kind of power, could take that kind of a spark. Well, if you want a spark, you can light a match. <laughs> You're so cynical. <laughs> I think there's more to this world than meets the eye. Well, it was that kind of thinking that got the witch hunt started in the first place. You're no fun at all. 